first of all, we're going to rewrite um, in A here, we're going to rewrite these as ordinary numbers because they're standard form at the minute. Okay, so um, 1.2, well, if I move that decimal point, it's got to move, hasn't it? It's got to move five places because okay, the power there is five. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's where it's going to go. So I fill these gaps up then with zeros. Okay, so I've got there 120,000. Do the same then for the next number. 2.4 times 10 to the power 4. So 2, 4. Decimal point this time moves 4 places. 1, 2, 3, 4. It'll go there. Okay, so fill those gaps up with zeros. So I've got 24,000. Then says to take it away. So 120,000. Um, take away 24,000. Now, clearly here you can see the answer there, yeah? Okay, it's just going to be 96,000. So 96,000 is my answer, but they want it in standard form, so I need to put the decimal point here, don't I? So that the number is between 1 and 10. 96, 96,000 isn't between 1 and 10. But if I put the decimal point there, 9.6 is between 1 and 10. Times 10 then, well, how many places is the decimal point moved? 1, 2, 3, 4. So the power is 4 there in your answer. With B, okay, um, well, there's lots of ways of doing this, right? There's many ways. What I like to do sometimes is um, write that out in full, okay, because it's 10 to the power 6. It will be 6 zeros, okay, be a million. Um, and I've got 5,000 at the bottom. Now, what I like to do then is cancel these zeros. So that zero cancels with that zero. This zero cancels with that zero. And this zero cancels with that zero. Okay. And then um, we'll keep that as it is, right? So that will be 1,000, which will be 10 to the power 3. So I could rewrite that now as 10 to the power 3. And then we'll divide these. So 1.5 divided by 5. Well, 1.5 divided by 5. 5 goes into 1.5, 0 0.3 times, yeah? Because like 15 divided by 5 is 3. So 1.5 divided by 5 is 0 0.3 times. I remember then we had that as 1,000, yeah? But I'll write that as 10 to the power 3, okay? Now, um, of course, we sort of want it in standard form, and that looks like a standard form, doesn't it? However, the number's got to be between 1 and 10. Okay, and that isn't, isn't it? That decimal point is in the wrong place. So it's got to move one place to the right. And then we've got 3, which is between 1 and 10. But if I move that one place to the right, we've then got to reduce this power. Okay, so it becomes 10 to the power 2 because the decimal point there is moved to the right.